Uh, going to be reviewing the Vantar Scissor Gaming Keyboard. Now, f for people who like really small, really low profile, but really nice looking keyboards, it's very, uh, it's very well made. Seems to be nice and sturdy. Keys are nice and, and tight and work very well. Um, it is a wired keyboard. I bought it on Newegg. The description was not very descriptive about whether it was wired or wireless it just showed a bunch of pictures with no wires on it um unfortunately <clears throat> it is wired i did want a wireless one i have wireless keyboards it's not really that big of a deal um but it really is a nice keyboard and for people who don't really game on keyboards this is definitely beyond what you would need for people that do game on keyboards i'm gonna say if you have smaller medium hands it's probably fine it seems to work well these RGB keyboards look great. Um, I'm gonna say that I would rather have looks over performance since I don't game on a keyboard. For any of you that do, I don't know if this is gonna be uh, something that you would want. Um, although it does have some nice features. Uh, one feature I will show you is the fact that you can change your WASD to these keys right here. Now we just uh, hold the FN button, hold the W key, it has a little refresh circle on it. Now we're back to just moving your cursor back and forth. Some of the controls for changing, this is actually a custom RGB that I was able to program into this. It was very easy to do. Um, that's the number seven. Uh, FN key is gonna give you all your different options for RGB. Your WASD keys over here are going to give you, and if you take a look at this, sheet right here it's going to show you all the different RGB uh, changes that you can make um, the different patterns that this will display uh, it does have waves and uh, color changes rainbows it's got a, a ton of different options so we'll, we'll start with the first one the first one is gonna go like this um, you can actually change the backlight speed with the FN key and the page up and page down, you can make it faster or slower. Backlight direction, you change with the A or D key on your directional keys. So you can make it go one way or you can make it go the other way, which is pretty nifty. I mean, for I believe I paid $30 for this keyboard. Uh, so we have uh, the other rainbow. Um, this one is more of like a like a consistent change of colors instead of a, a wave of colors flowing through. Change it whatever way you want it to go. Uh, now we have the breathing, which is actually pretty neat. So that'll be FN3. Um, the backlight speed can be changed so that your colors flow in faster. It can be knocked down too so that they fade in and out slower. I don't know how slow it gets, very slow. We have number four. Uh, we have two different things. We have the direction, speed, like I said, direction, uh, number five. Now we can change the colors on this one, uh, somewhere, uh, change color, oh, uh, FN5. So basically this is just setting your keys, everything on. You can only do it to one color, as far as I see. Uh, there's also a dim on this. If you hold the FN button and you have page up and page down, which are your dims and your brights, this actually turns it off, the home key. Uh, it does have a little like light insignia on it to show you that that's what it's for. Um, it's a very nice keyboard. Uh, I mean, like I said, I think I paid under $30 for this thing. It was like $26.99. It was on sale on Newegg. So I, I'm not totally sure if it's going to be the consistent price or not. Um, I can put a link in the description, though, which is exactly what I'll do. Because, I mean, let's face it, uh, we're in the world of RGB, right? Um, everybody is, is you know, getting into the boards, the... the GPUs, the keyboards, the mice, um, you know, and it does, it does fit nicely with my mouse, uh, my mouse is a, um, is an RGB cycling mouse, there is no way to change what it does, it just does what it does, which is fine, I like it the way it is, um, it is made by Havoc, 
and it's called the Magic Eagle. I've actually had two of these. My first one, I kind of chucked it, and like six months later, it just quit working. Um, which would be my fault. You know, you get mad at video games and shit and throw things, which I don't recommend, especially towards your LCD, LED TV screens. Those aren't, that's not cheap. Now, this one you can change the color, um, and I guess that's by the 5 key. Oh, wait, no, oh, this is the next one, rhythm. Uh, just speed and direction on this, apparently. Uh, it does its own, its own color variations. So I got off on a tangent there. Fucking video games. Anyways. <clears throat> um, the customized one. Now this one I already preset myself. I made all these colors. Basically what you do is... Um, you hold down the FN key. right? While pressing the FN key, you press the 7 key twice. It's going to do that. Once it flashes like that, now you know that you can go to any of these areas... You can see them where they're split up by the colors I chose. And you can literally change the color you want for each area. So let's just see. We'll do blue there. And you just use the arrow keys, the WSA, ASD uh, arrow keys that a normal keyboard would have here for just movement of a cursor. And you can change your colors with the up and down. And then the A and D, which is side to side, left or right, is going to change what area of the keyboard you are on which suck and you can literally make whatever the fuck you want um which i find to be a great uh a really great you know addition to this this keyboard i mean man i've had so many keyboards that just don't really have you know you're kind of limited i really like the option a lot of the rgb keyboards out there like i said are just very very locked down they don't have a lot of options and they're expensive or they're super cheap and they suck don't always go by, you know, what somebody says either. Like, I mean, I can tell you this keyboard is great. You might get one that's fucked up. It happens. You're, you're talking about making 100,000 units to ship all over the world. Shit can happen. You know, so as long as you send it back and they give you a new one, there's a lot of the shit that goes wrong with reviews is because of the actual reviewer and the person using it. I mean, yes, this is a basic keyboard. You plug the fucking thing in, either it works or it doesn't. But... You know, I mean, if you get an $800 graphics card in the mail and you plug it in and it just doesn't work, you want to blame the company. That's not necessarily true. There's a lot of different ways that you can make mistakes, and there's a lot of different um, companies out there that get a bad rap because of other people's mistakes. So thanks for dropping by. Hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, hit the unlike button if you don't, and you can check out all my other social platforms. And, uh, you know, hope to see you guys again.